And then when we looked at the pictures and I saw the mist, I, I saw, it looked to me like there was shapes of angels. And I felt really validated in my prayer. I felt really answered. So it was all a very spiritual experience. And it's very exciting. The veil is lifting. And we're seeing what's always been there, the other dimension. That's it. I think it's a very exciting time. The orbs are showing now is a blessing. They're reminding us that we need to change and that times are changing. The veil is lifting. Just as the seasons change, the cosmos has its cycles as well. We are entering an era of higher vibration, the age of Aquarius. The increased sightings of orbs can be an indicator of this occurrence. To stay in balance with the earth, we must also raise our vibration. We do this through unconditional love. I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation that we gave you today. In the meantime, uh, James Gilliland has somewhat has become somewhat of a an authority even on the regular news. They sometimes feature him on ABC or NBC, especially when it comes to cloud formations and um, unusual things like that. I often mention the Maima Mounts to you. The Maima Mounts are about uh, what is two, three miles from Little Rock, Washington. It is not unusual to go to the Mima Mounts to take pictures and you have orbs everywhere. Um, I have taken people to the Mima Mounts, uh, people such as geologists and scientists, and what we have found there is it, it seems like time stops and um, it, it's like you enter a different dimension. And so 
it's just a good place to get orbs um, if you just want to go for a walk and randomly take pictures I almost guarantee you you will find some of those um, also we had quite a few with snow um, uh, you know this winter when we had the snowstorm and so it, it, it's um, when you stop and think about it we're always looking for something to do with our children you just grab the kids and the camera and you randomly take pictures and see what it is you find and you will really be amazed what there is um, the times that we live in are so harsh and uh, especially politically I mean a few years ago it was uh, the blue and the red and now now everybody's kind of fighting again unfortunately and so to do something of that nature is really uh, is very soothing for the mind and it, it gives us something to unite now. At the time of this taping, I have not been to Lake Fair, but I'm almost thinking that um, I'm going to go to Lake Fair and, and see what kind of goodies I can come up with there. And um, anyway, it's just a beautiful world that we live in. And, uh, and share the pictures on the internet. People really will appreciate. Now, next week... We're going to continue this type of uh, mellow metaphysical type uh, theme and um, we will take you to the rainforest of Washington State. And so um, what else can I say? It was very nice that you shared another hour with me and, um, and I guess we'll, uh, see you. we'll see you next week. And I do need a little help with some of the camera work for those of you that want to go out and, and film some things for me that would be really m very much appreciated so here's a great Randy Shaw uh, singing you out next week bye
Thank you.